Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Our guest, Jeff Prang, he is a council member in West Hollywood, and I love high-tech advances. I was speaking recently with someone from, I think it's Torrance. They're going to have flashing yellow lights in terms of left turns. Mm -hmm. West Hollywood's focusing on parking yes. and having, what is it, like 21st century parking garages or something? We are building one of the nation's first automated parking garages uh, behind City Hall off of Santa Monica Boulevard. You know, part West Hollywood, as you know, is one of the most densely populated cities of the state. Our, uh, we tons of people come there for the nightclubs and the businesses. Right. We don't have enough parking. So parking is, a, is a, one of our prime objectives. Right. We are building a parking garage that will allow you, the driver, to drive into a stall, get right. out of your car, and the garage will park your car for you. <laughs> I just love it, that. Um, I mean, literally. There will be four stalls. No people. No, no, no one. No people. There will be one person on site, like a parking attendant. Of course. But for the most part, it is self-serve. And so what will happen? The car, you drive the car and you get out, it goes onto some platform It goes or onto a platform. The platform then lifts the car up. It's an autom automatic automated right. lift with triple redundancy backup. Okay. It will park your car in a stall. Who knows where? And then uh, wherever there's a space, right. the computer determines where the spaces are. When you're done, it brings your car back and uh, you get in it and drive away. The, I mean, um, I, I've, I've the, uh, rendered speechless. It's a, you know, rarely it's, am it's, I rendered it's, speechless. It's actually it's uh, a technology which is more commonly used in Japan I've as well as that. in Europe. The advantage of it is it's it's cheaper to build than a conventional garage. Is it? And it takes less time to build. The conventional garages have to build underground, and you have to build ramps. And the ramps to get your cars between right. floors takes up about a third of the space in a in a typical typical garage. Right. It's all con you know it's all concrete and you have to to get the same number of spaces you have to dig down deep so and you have to go with high. these you don't have to go underground. We don't have to because dig because people you, won't be in them or what's the issue? No, well we don't to, the, the, the space is used better. We don't have oh, the, you don't, all, the, all the space that you need right. for ramping can be used to park cars. So this will be a three-story structure. There'll right. be no sub subterranean parking but it will hold the same amount of parking as a, uh, as a, as a space. Have you started construction? We're going to probably begin construction at the end of this year. And then what? When will this open? Because I want to be the first one to park in there. <laughs> it will, George Jensen is calling my name. It'll probably take about uh, 18 months to build. So this is an exciting development. It's no a doubt. very exciting development. And it continues to bring West Hollywood into the fore when you think about business friendly cities, uh, walking friendly cities, cities for families. And, and, and our, it's, it's consistent with our motto, which is the creative city. We're trying right. to find creative and innovative solutions to the challenges and of urban living. I want to shift gears. You have been rumored to be a candidate for the assessor's office for LA County. And I want to get a sense from you about how the county is doing with property taxes because in the final analysis counties rely so much on right. that property tax base and we've seen those figures decline sure. during the recession. Well two things. First, it's not a rumor, it's true. I will be a candidate for Los Angeles County Assessor in June of 2014. Um, and also the, the, the LA County Assessor doesn't do property taxes. The assessor assesses the valuation for property right. tax purposes. But um, this year, the, prop, the, the assessed valuation for all of LA County increased by 4.66%. Right. That's uh, uh, almost double what, it, what it, of the increase last year. It's the third consecutive increase in a row since the uh, uh, since the economic recession, uh, which p means great things for LA right. County. It means there's more revenue. Uh, property property owners are, have better value in their homes, right. and the county has more money to spend on services. And that occurred without an increase in property taxes. That simply occurred. That's, sales uh, prices went up, more sales. So that's it's, correct. It's, it's the, the proper, some properties lost value during the recession. They are starting to regain right. that value, exactly. so the taxes are restored. Okay. And. His name is Jeff Prang. He'll come back and talk more, I'm sure. My name is Brad Palmer. You're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.